Hello me and welcome back to the next part of our creating a character from scratch series. In this episode we're going to add a hairstyle and start playing around with the skin color as well. This is character creator 4. Let's get stuck into this. So the first thing I want to do is take the character that we created in the last episode and this time I'm going to add a hairstyle. Now I've already got a hairstyle I'm going to choose pre-selected. There are hundreds of options available from the Reillusion marketplace and the content store. Now I bought this one so I'm just going to apply it straight to our character and we can have a look and see what we get. There we go. Immediately I'm just going to zoom out a smidge. You can see that it's actually made a adding hair to a character kind of brings it to life in a in some ways. And uh, what I want to do is I want to sort of play around with that hairstyle. So in our scene tab, you can see I've selected the hair base. And now when I come to the modify tab, I'm going to select this texture option up here. And I can actually change some of the materials using the material list here. As you can see, got the hair and the scalp. If I were to go to the hair option, then it gives me a number of options that I can choose from, such as the texture settings. If we come down a bit further, we can see that we've got some shader settings. And if we come again, come back to our texture here, you can see that that's there and we can open up parameters as well. Now, if I was to close that down in my parameters, we've also got a base color. And now we can adjust the color of our hair a little bit. So currently the base color is black, but we can mess around and we can actually choose different colors as we see fit. I'm going to leave it as it is because I quite like the brunette look but we can play around with those colors as much as we want to to give us the style and the color that we actually want. So now that I've applied a hairstyle to it I can now start playing around with the skin. So now that we have our uh, character set up as you can just see I've made some adjustments to the lighting of the scene just um, we'll cover that in another video. This is just to make it more clear what the character's shape is and to just give her a little bit more of a human look. So now that we have that done, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our scene selector and we're going to choose the character. Then we're going to open the modify tab. And as you can see, you've got a number of tabs along the top and you're going to select the one that looks like the paint palette, which if you hover over it shows appearance. Then we're going to select skin and then we're going to hit activate editor. Now character creator 4 is going to have a bit of a think and then a couple of moments later we'll be able to mess around with some of the settings here. So as you can see it's hidden the hair for us so that we can see the character in its entirety and currently we have the head selected from the number of options that we have and if we select skin base we now have a number of options available to us. As you can see, we have the actual textures, which we can go in and edit in a texture editor, as well as the normal maps, ambient occlusion, the roughness, and all of those lovely things. We can also rest around with the strength and the opacity of our skin, as well as the ambient occlusion opacity. And if we keep coming down, we can see the base color brightness hue and saturation and then we can adjust the color balance now if i was to start playing around with the brightness here what you will be able to see is that we can actually change our character's skin tone very very easily however it only takes a very very slight adjustment to make a huge difference we can make them look really really pale almost like vampire or gothic and then we can also bring it right down here and as you can see we're now going into the sort of we've gone through mediterranean we're now going into the sort of Indian and black kind of um, spectrum. And so you can really quickly mess around and change things here. I'm going to leave it at zero just because that's not what I'm all interested in today. And again, we can change the hue and give them a green or a purple. You can make them look like an alien. Again, super easy to do all of this. Takes no time at all. I encourage you to have a little bit of a play with it and see what you can do. And then saturation again, you can just make them look really kind of saturated or really black and white. Again, really good for creating kind of fantasy characters. What we also have here is the color balance. We can change between our green and magenta. So we can, as you can see, adjust the hue of the skin in that way as well. We can also make the skin look a lot rougher. 
which you're not going to see a great deal of change in your character here but once you start doing renders with it you're going to be able to see the difference in the roughness because the character is going to have more blemishes or more natural looking skin you could argue then a little bit further down we have the lip and we can adjust the brightness and the contrast of the lips as well so we can give them a really dark looking lips adjust the color there i actually want my lips to look a little bit darker than they did but not quite that much i'm thinking you know i'm in 0 0.07 change has given her darker lips which i'm quite happy with and then again we can play around with the color of the lips if we want to we can go for different makeup colors and this is without applying the makeup presets that are available in the software as well this is the natural no makeup look so bear that in mind when you're making these adjustments that what you're adjusting is the character's natural skin tones not the makeup color makeup is something that you will apply later on once you've got the skin set exactly how you want it to and again we can adjust the roughness of the lips and make it look a little bit less or more natural uh, reducing some of the sheen on the skin and you know if you so if you want the character to have really wet lips naturally you can crank that down I prefer a kind of slightly glossy but more natural look that, that's about where I want to be with that one and again you can adjust the brightness and the contrast of the metallicity of that as well next we've got the eyes or the mouths and the mouth and the tear ducts you can again you can adjust the color of those and as you can see there's a tiny little difference here in the tear duct of the eye there you can actually adjust the brightness of the darkness of that to be honest that's such a minute change there's not much point in me demonstrating it here but if you want to play around with that if you've got a character with green skin and you find that this bit is just the wrong color to match then you can obviously adjust that color there to make sure that it all matches then what we can do is we can go further down we can adjust the body skin texture and as you can see character creator 4 is going to again have a little bit of a think about it so if had i adjusted the tone of the skin then i would have to come in and i'd have to make the same adjustments here to make sure that that matched otherwise it would look really weird with a bright purple face and normal colored skin and uh, as you can see the options that are available are your arms your legs and your nails as well so there are a lot of different options here if we were to continue down through the body you can see that you can adjust the color of the nipples which i'm sure is something that is interesting to many people if i was to go to arms what we'll notice is that the zones of the arms go from the actual arm itself and the palm of the hand now it's very important not to forget the palm of the hand when you make the color of the skin what it is and i've seen people forget to do it before and it looks really bizarre um it looks very much like a racial stereotype that uh, you don't necessarily want to perpetuate so what i would strongly recommend is make sure you go through the entire list for each one of these skin settings and the same with legs if we go to leg we can select our leg base and again you can see all these textures all these textures are editable you can double click on them and it'll show you where the files are located then you can just drag them into photoshop or one of your other image editing pieces of software that will allow you to play around with that and again if you come in you can see that you've got the leg and you also have the sole of the foot again not something that you want to forget when you are adjusting the textures of your character so I'm quite happy with the overall look of the character as you can see she's got quite a nice look and if I now were to deactivate the skin editor it will come back out of that and it will load all of the assets back in such as the hair giving it just a moment to have a think and then as we can see now our hair comes back in and we can see the character in her all her glory I'm actually going to turn off the visibility of the uh, HDRI just so that we can get a better look at what the character looks like. So, so now we've got our character with hair and I've made a couple of really teeny tiny adjustments to the color of the lips. And again, if you are interested in adjusting the color of other things like making the character a different ethnicity or something like that, then you can certainly play around with that option.
So as you can see, I've adjusted the lighting on the character's face just to give us an idea of what she's going to look like in more real life situations. So that's the basics of adding hair and changing the skin properties to your to your liking. I'm not going to cover the in-depth of every single knob tweak and slider in there simply because it's just too much to cover in one video and I'd strongly encourage you once you get the software to have a go and play around with yourself but you can see just how much content there is in there to have a play with and how diverse and easy it is to play around with that stuff. So thanks very much for watching that guys I hope you found that useful let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you in the next one but until then you take damn good care of yourselves all right bye bye.